so this is the next topic the topic is changes in various induction motor parameters from stand till to running condition as consequent change in frequency so we should discuss what are the changes in the parameters from yeah stand still to running condition first what is stand still condition you should keep in your mind stand still means stand still the meaning is rotor is at zero speed and running condition means rotor is not in zero speed rotor is has with some speed these are the things okay yeah especially we should discuss about the rotor parameters in this region we should discuss about the rotor parameters so before entering into this first we should discuss first the rotor parameters the rotor has the resistance represents with the r2 is the rotor resistance per phase rotor resistance per phase so it is the rotor resistance generally it is not dependent on frequency resistance always independent of frequency so it is we can directly tell the independent of frequency it will not depend on the frequency because we are discussing consequent changes in the frequency the second thing x2 not okay x2 not means x2 you know you know the leakage reactance 2 means the rotor leakage reactance 0 means it should stand still okay so i will write like this the rotor leakage reactance leakage reactance at stand still we can write it stand still and for phase this is for phase so generally we can write the x to not value is like this that is rotor frequency in x x l2 leakage reactance of 2 so rotor is 2 phi fr fr l2 we can write fr l2 omega sorry this is the l2 generally right yeah you know l is the leakage reactance this is the leakage inductance of leakage inductance of rotor bars so we have rotor that is for bars okay rotor has some leakage reactance wherever the winding is there automatically it has this and we can next we will go for the x2 x2 means it represents running condition this is same thing the rotor leakage reactance at running condition leakage reactance at running condition during running okay that will represents with x2 x2 we can write generally omega r into l2 omega r means rotor frequency into l2 so rotor frequency i can write like this 2 phi fr into l2 so you know the rotor frequency can be write slip times of stator frequency so 2 phi f so i will write slip times of stator frequency into l2 yeah so again i will modify like this this is slip into 2 phi f into l2 okay so this is the s 2 phi f l2 i will write you know the 2 phi f l2 value is x2 so directly i will write s into x2 not so therefore finally the relation between the rotor reactances is like this x2 equal to s times of x2 not s times of x2 not here next we will move on to the next relation so this is the one of the important relation that is x2 is nothing but s times of x x2 not and next next thing is you should take the e to not 
you should take the e2 naught what is e2 naught emf induced we can name it as the emf induced in rotor windings emf induced in rotor windings per phase per phase wherever the zero is there directly at standstill without any rotation at standstill so we can write the formula is like this generally emf equation you know that from the transformer that is 4.44 into flux into frequency means the rotor frequency number of turns into winding rotor winding rotor winding yeah here 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 at standstill condition you know the rotor frequency equal to stator frequency both are same so that's why we can write like this that is e to not equal 4.44 into frequency into flux into number of turns into winding factor winding factor kwr next we can make it the another emf that is the e2 e2 means same emf induced in rotor windings per phase but at running condition this is wherever there is no that is running condition so we can write e2 is like this that is 4.44 into we can write the rotor frequency flux into number of turns into kwr rotor winding so here we can make it fr equal to slip times of frequency so finally we can write e2 equal to can come on the slip from there that will become 4.44 into flux into frequency into turns into winding factor of rotor the finally we will get e2 equal to slip times of e2 not e2 equal to slip times of e2 not okay right and here we can write the finally the impedance thing how we can write the impedance impedance is simply is like this the impedance is z2 not that is rotor impedance at standstill condition rotor impedance at standstill condition at standstill condition okay here z2 not we can write like this that is r2 plus j x2 not you know that from this we can find out the magnitude j2 not equal to under root of r2 square plus x2 not square r2 square plus x2 not square so by using that we can find out the current at standstill i2 equal standstill emf generated e2 not by the j2 not okay and from this we can find out the power factor rotor power factor also power factor we can write cos phi 2 not that means rotor power factor that is r2 by under root of r2 square plus x2 not square okay next this is for rotor at standstill if it consider the rotor at running condition that is the z2 z2 is we can name it as rotor impedance at during we can name it as a during running condition during running condition then we parameters have a small changes that is z2 z2 will become like this r2 plus j x2 okay then we have a relation that is we can directly write the relation we have some relation that is r2 equal to x2 we can write s times of x2 not s times of x2 not from this we can write the magnitude of z2 is like this magnitude of z2 is the under root of 
R2 square plus X2 naught square. This is the J2. From this, we can write the current I2. The current I2 equal to E2 by E2 by under root of R2 square plus S X2 naught square. Okay. So, finally, we can find out the power factor also during running condition that will be represents cos phi 2. So, that is directly the R2 by J2. You know, the R2 by the magnitude is R2 square plus S X2 naught square. S X2 naught square. This is about the power factor. This is about the power factor. These are the different different parameters. These different different parameters are very much useful to understand the three phase induction motor. Okay. First is R2. R2 during running condition and the normal condition is same. But X2 naught rotor reactance is different. EMFs are the standard steel is E2 naught and running is E2 that is multiplied with S yes. and J2 naught we have a small difference I2 naught cos phi 2 naught we have a small difference so we already discussed about this here we should have understand one thing that is the no load power factor is better improved version of the stand steel power factor stand still power factor that is cos phi naught cos phi naught cos phi 2 naught is greater than one cos phi 2 for this is only for the rotor okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you